Hi, I'm Anna, and you might recognize me from SWCPL, where I'm usually behind the circulation desk. Today, I'm going to recommend some Western books for you. Last month, the Western Writers of America gave out their annual Spur Awards. These awards honor writers for distinguished writing about the American West. They give awards for several categories, and I'll go through the winners that you can find in our library's digital resources. So these will all be available on either Overdrive, Hoopla, or both. Uh, for the full list of the winners, you can check out the link in the description for this video, which should be above. And let us know in the comments if you have any questions. Let's get started with the winner for Best Western Traditional Novel. The winner this year was Cherokee America by Margaret Verbal. This family saga was inspired by the author's own family history and is told from a Native American perspective. The author describes it as a post-Civil War epic of the American frontier set in the old Cherokee Nation West. In it, a matriarch potato farmer finds herself at the center of mysterious disappearances and deaths. This is actually a prequel to Verbal's book, Maud's Line, and for both of these books, the ebook and audiobook formats are available on Hoopla. Next, we have the winner for Best Western Mass Market Paperback. Uh, mass market paperback, if you're not familiar, are the smaller paperbacks. They're almost always just the exact same size. The print is usually quite small. Um, and the winner for this year in that category is Hawk's Target by Revis Z. Wortham. This is the third book in a Western thriller series following the character Sunny Hawk who is a Texas Ranger committed to his job and who will not abide vigilante justice. The first book in this series was Hawk's Prey, which came out in 2017. All three books in this series are available on Hoopla, and good news if you like them. The fourth book in the series is scheduled to come out this summer. And now on to Best Western Juvenile Fiction. The winner this year was Someplace to Call Home by Sandra Dallas. This book follows three children, ages 16, 12, and 6, who are traveling on their own to find work after their family was devastated by the Great Depression and the Dust Bowl. I don't know much more about this story, but it sounds amazing. And if it sounds good to you too, you're in luck. The ebook is on both Hoopla and Overdrive. And finally, we have the winner for Best Western Contemporary Nonfiction. Uh, and the winner for that is Country Music and Illustrated History by Dayton Duncan and Ken Burns. This is the book that was based on the PBS documentary that came out last fall. Uh, like the series, it contains fascinating stories about the history of country music in the United States, interspersed with gorgeous photographs, and you can check out this ebook on Overdrive. That's all for me, but what about you? What are your favorite westerns? Tell us in the comments below. Thank you.